Hello again, everyone. It's me, Matt. Thank you so much for being on today's video. We're talking about close-in weapon systems, or basically anti-missile defense platforms for ships. And China has been doing some really interesting things recently with its own SeaWiz platforms. We all know of SeaWiz with Goalkeeper Phalanx uh, and the, all the other fantastic weapon systems out there. I have actually done a video on this. If you want to go check that out, I did the top seven CIWS weapon systems out there. But the Chinese have gone another step forward in the CIWS capabilities. They've actually started developing a 20-barrel weapon system. Yes, 20 barrels. Now, there's been a lot of, I guess, hype about this because when you're looking at something that has 20 barrels to fire from, you're looking at a huge amount of fire that can deliver massive amounts of lead downrange to stop missiles coming in, which increases the overall capabilities for the defense of Chinese and People's Liberation Army or Navy weapon systems and ships, which is incredible. Uh, now, the pictures that have been recently released uh, come from a microblogging site called Weibo, and uh, I think it's called Weibo or Weibo, I don't know, and are circulating around on social media. A lot of people have been talking about these live firing tests that have been happening earlier this year. It's really difficult to find out what sort of specific information is about this gun. It's all very hush-hush, of course, as we would know. Uh, but the pictures that are released do show this gigantic behemoth putting down a spray of fire with 20 barrels. A Gatling-type naval close-in weapon system with 20 barrels is kind of mind-boggling to me. It's really also difficult to understand what kind of rounds are going through there, what size the rounds are. We can only probably ascertain they're between 20 to 30 millimeter rounds, similar to that of the goalkeeper weapon system out there. It actually looks a lot like the goalkeeper kind of platform, similar to the already... Uh, type 730 and Type 1130 uh, CIWS, which is all the pictures, the most of the pictures you're seeing through this video, are actually of the seven, uh, three, sorry, 730 and 1130 uh, weapon systems, which are a seven-barrel 30 millimeter for the 730, and the Type 1130 is actually uh, used on China's first aircraft carrier, which has 11 barrels. It's another 30 millimeter uh, weapon system. So they're obviously, you know, very, very capable CIWS as is already with those number of barrels and the projectiles that they're using. Uh, it's also, you know, something to make note of is that the Type 730 is very, very similar to that of the Dutch Goalkeeper. So you can you can see the similarities, but the, the structure on top, the radar dome, and the, uh, you know, the uh, tracking system is a little bit different to what Goalkeeper is. But the frame structure around the barrel, the size of the gun is very, very similar. Now, there, as I said, there's really not a huge amount of information about this 20 barrel CIWS. Uh, the pictures do look incredible. I mean, it, it, it's almost mind-boggling to see 20 barrels returning at any one time. But it, it, it's a bit of a game-changer, uh, because at the end of the day, the more barrels that can provide firepower at any one time means more rounds going down range. Now, the Type 730 has an adjustable rate of fire of roughly 6,000 rounds per minute, which is pretty standard for most CIWS. And the 1130's maximum rate of fire is around about 10,000 rounds per minute. So you can see what we're looking at here with just, you know, the standard barrel configurations of 11 uh, and the 7 barrel 30 millimeters. If you put 20 on there, I, <laughs> it doesn't really, it doesn't even come to comprehension the number of rounds it's pushing down range. Now, America obviously have their own capabilities too. Uh, they have the Phalanx, which with the US Navy has 6 barrels. Uh, with the 20 millimeters, normally around about 4,000 to 600 Sorry, 4,000 to 6,000 rounds per minute, which is still extremely capable, very accurate, and able to do what it needs to do to lock out those projectiles coming into the ship. Um, there's a lot of evidence, too, that uh, some of the barrels that are going to be added to this can actually do two rounds at a time, i.e. two barrels of firing on the gun. It was recently released uh, that the added information to this article is that the gun, if you look carefully in this picture, you can see one barrel at the top firing, one barrel at the bottom firing which is really cool because it then is obviously doubling the capability of the gun being able to fire instead of waiting for that initial barrel to cool down and rotate back up again. Um, it's the ejection sequence that would fascinate me, you know, the brass coming out of this thing. I don't know if it's an encased projectile that stays in the ramp feed and just follows through. That would be something cool to see, but of course we're not getting enough information and, and that's pretty typical for something like this. Uh, we also know of the Kashtan CIWS from Russia, which is very, very capable. Uh, with the two GSH 30K six barrel 30 millimeter guns. They also have a maximum rate of fire around 9,000 to 10,000 rounds per minute. Very, very capable CIWS. I would say, actually, right now in the world, the best uh, CIWS that is out there. Uh, very, very capable. Because it, it also has those eight surface to air missiles in the same platform. So it, it does very, very well. 
Um, but honestly, it, 20 barreled weapons could be a little scary and overheating. I can't imagine having 20 barrels firing at the same time. Uh, you know, even with 11 barrels on the Type 1130, that's, that's a lot of projectiles coming through those barrels at any one time. A prolonged engagement, of course, is not really what this thing's there for. It's designed to knock out missiles coming in at the last moment. Uh, so you're not going to be spraying this thing for, you know, 30 seconds at a time. You're going to give it, like, 10 to 15 second bursts and to try and knock out the missile. At that point, if you haven't knocked it out, you're probably going to get destroyed anyway. So, you know, and the China's People's Liberation Army, or P Land Navy, uh, continues to really increase its surface fleets and the addition of large, more advanced vessels. And this is something that clearly is going to be adding to that. Uh, CIWS is the last line of defense, so to speak, for protecting the ship. So when it comes to an aircraft carrier, you're going to want to pound as many rounds out from the aircraft carrier as possible because if you lose it to one missile or one projectile, that's it's, it's going to suck. Um, you know, ideally, and by definition, it should be able to put a lot more projectiles downrange faster to knock out the missiles coming in there. But it could also be used for a lot of other things, you know. It could actually potentially be used to knock out patrol boats or other sort of vessels coming nearby. Um, close in defense has the capability of being used on other vessels, but really it, it's very costly to do so. You'd want something that's more accurate and more, uh, you know, precise in its engagement that is spraying the place with rounds. But for the most part, this is a really exciting development. Uh, I would love to see what a 20-barrel double rotation uh, sorry, double firing rotating gun can do and what that looks like. And, the, and just from the pictures, and the imagery that you're seeing, you know, the spray that's coming off that gun is, is incredible. Uh, so let's see what happens. Let's see if we get some more information about this, uh, this CIWS in the near future. I'm, I'm intrigued to see what a 20, <laughs> 20 barreled CIWS looks like. Um, there has been other, you know, concepts out there of the, uh, the Iron Wall or whatever it was called, which is like a, a 40 barreled thing that can launch like a bazillion rounds at once. Uh, but I've never seen it put on a ship or anything because I guess it was just somewhat of a concept. Anyway, that's it for today, folks. Just a little quick update for you to uh, see how this kind of develops in the future. I'll keep up to date with it as much as I can. But if you weren't aware, now you are. 20 barreled CIWS is the future. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave me a like. I'd love to hear your uh, comment on this too. And if you want to support my channel, please check out the description box below for my Patreon, PayPal. And if you want to become a member, also click the membership button. And if you really want to see some more content in the future and update maybe of this kind of content, then click the little bell by the subscribe button. Thanks so much for joining me. All the best. Bye-bye.